Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Monkey Business Show, episode, what? Yes, 25. <laughs> we are very prepared today. We are the Sunflower House, and this is the most comfy setup we had so far, but we made it. We're uh, home. Johan. Dude, I just realized there's something we're missing. Go on about something else. What are we missing? Oh, okay. It's finally here. Sit with it if I have to. Oh man, dude, laps gonna be crushed. Well, uh, Johan, what do you have there? Where, where, what is that? <laughs> I'm still, I'm still doing copium. You're still doing copium, copium major. Yeah, yeah, I'm still copium in the major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we, how do we keep this in frame? Uh, okay. We can, you know, right here, just right on the. And Mike. Right on the arm. Head of esports. We, trophy, he's back into the, he's gonna, into the yeah. show. What's Dude, up? you've been here a few months and you already won a Dota tournament. Yeah, I know it's great. Uh huh. It's, uh, you know, I'm taking all, you. all the credit. Yeah, I did all of the work to get here. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to continue to hold this and, you know, eventually I'll, I'll take the vibes. But, you know, we might. I mean, we're getting there. Sammy, is it? Uh, oh, come on. OK, so we are we are in Lisbon right I'm now. I'm, I'm the host now, Jay. You are the host. I'm, I have the trophy. I'm the host. If you want to be the host, you can take the trophy. We're, we're in Lisbon and we're here for a blast. Uh, we came here with the CSGO team. And yeah, uh, it's been a crazy, crazy event. We 2-1 Navi. Then two O ends. Easy for us. And uh, tomorrow we play Navi again. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they come back. Yeah, they're yeah. looking. They look good today. I mean, they, they did stomp. Oh, yeah. How many rounds did the uh, face get? Or how many I have nice? no idea. I want to, uh, but not that many. Yeah. Well, Let me see. I think it was sixteen six map one. So Boom. probably. And then there was one in one map, uh, round in the yeah. last map. Something like that. Wow. Oh, but I, I heard they wanted to play face because they wanted to he, play uh, one, two, and three. One, two, yeah, and three. we wanted to get yeah, it yeah, all, yeah. all taken in there. This is kind of awkward. I can't even look at you now. <laughs> Wait, maybe we should put it Oh, down. my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, it was 6 16 and 1 16 oh in Inferno. 16, they won one. seven ah, rounds total. Ah, ah. <clears throat> aye, 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 aye. That's all. Simple's back. Okay. Yeah, simple's so, back. Yeah. He decided he heard, that he heard us done. talking shit. Yeah. So we have a, a few topics to discuss uh, because they, I, I guess I'm not used to the CSGO metaverse. It's hard because we only play a match every month. So, you know, it, oh. it, it takes a while to get yes. content for it. We got to wait a whole quarter to get uh, me back on the podcast. So there is like a lot of uh, things that have been happening, a lot of comments. So one of the big th threats or topics was how do we assemble a new team? Because we have a new team. So we decided to bench Nico and Balde. That is the official of what happened. Yeah. And we started looking for other new players, you know, mm -hmm. two players. And we're going to tell the story for the first time, the, the real story of how this worked. So Mike and I, uh, we were discussing, OK, so what does the team want? What are they looking for? What does Nexa want, Casper and Alex? And there was like, let's say, two main paths. Yeah. OK, so path number one is we go with the People that we know that are proved commodities, mm -hmm. players that have proved in the past to be really, really good. Mm -hmm. And there were two top contenders. One of them was Jekinder, and the other one was JKS. And that roster together made a lot of sense, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it's Nexa, Mantu, Flamesy, Jekinder, and JKS. Yep. We communicated with Jekinder, our interest for him, mm -hmm. and there were <laughs> two main problems with that. Number one is that he has a buyout with VP. And the second, that Jekinder had a lot of opportunities to go to many teams. So Jekinder was lovely in the interview, but he communicated very clearly to us that yeah. he wanted to wait to see what will happen with the other opportunities. And then Virtus Pro communicated very clearly that what they were looking for is an amount of money that it was very high, but regardless, we were not interested in paying either. So Jekinder became a non-option. And then JKS was the next part of the conversation. We communicated our interest to him. And he very clearly said that he wanted to wait until what Jekinder will say and what the other player would be. Then we reached out to him several times through it a week. 
got no response. And by the time he reached back out, said, hey, sorry, I couldn't respond for a week. But he didn't say, hey, I want to be in OG. Uh, he didn't message me saying, please tell me what the last player is, or have you thought about this, 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 and this? So he was more waiting back, waving his options, try to figure out what would be the best move. But the thing is that when we continued doing interviews, there were guys that were like, I want to be part of OG. I really want to be part of this. You know, they were excited about it, which opened up the second path. The second path was to get key cast players that have not played on tier one teams, but are incredible at clicking heads and have this incredible grinding energy that they want to play. So this is now Mike and the team got together and presented two candidates that in all honesty, never heard of them in my life, but they were selling them and they were super excited about them. And those are? Fiku and a Neofrag. Sure. So I remember during the meeting, I was like, you guys are going to bring me again, two guys that I've never heard of in my life. Are we just doing Dota again? And they were like, yes. So then this option became even more viable when we won the Dota Major. Because now we had one team working with young kids. So my conversation with them was, do not try to get kids just to go cheaper. Mm. Like if you believe that we're going to win games with these guys, then bring them. And the guys were like, these guys will click it. Yeah, basically. So <laughs> this was like the joint decision with you, Casper, Nexa, Nexa, yeah. Alex. And so this was, you guys wanted these guys. Yeah. I mean, we definitely wanted them. I think, you know, when we look at the two paths, right? There's, they both work, you know, you could pay and get the established team, which I think a lot of people do, you know, just get the best possible players you can, put them in a, in a room and, you know, hope it works and you'll have a high percentage, you know, to win, right? That's what CSGO has been doing. And the other option that's become more viable recently has always been find kids you can click heads and then just throw them into the wolf pit and see what happens. And I think with, you know, these guys, they've been playing tier two for, you know, they've both been on their teams for about two years. Uh, you know, uh, Neofrag's been on centers for two years, top fragging alongside, you know, it was Oscar back in the day. Um, but they almost made it to the RMR. They uh, lost to Bad News Eagles 2-1. Uh, so they were actually pretty close, you know, to where we were in the uh, in the events. And then, um, you know, Fiku was definitely a bit younger uh, in that sense. But uh, he obviously his biggest showing was against EG in ESL, uh, where he took 40 out on them. You know, which, we just hire anybody that puts 40 in OG. Yeah, you basically just send us. Uh, look, if you want to get recruited <laughs> by OG, send send us a clip of you dropping 40 against EG or beating them in any other esport and we'll just we'll send you a contract right that's that's how it works <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it that's the recruiting philosophy here i remember when you told me about this guy he was like he just put 40 in EG i was like okay, fine <laughs> and that's it yeah um but you know obviously it's the the two different paths and like this is the longer road i mean i'm hoping it gets it seems like it's getting a lot shorter with you know how they've been playing now um but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good system. I think Nexa really enjoys having the kids, you know, to, to work with and, you know, be able to teach them how to play proper CS. I think you mentioned it a couple of times is, you know, you need somebody who's a leader who has that freedom to to do that. And with them coming in, I think the looser style where they just go around, I mean, ne the strategy is get headshots, right? Like they're pretty good at that. Mm -hmm. So um, when you have everybody firing like that and you have a loose system, I think everyone can shine. And, you know, we're not you know, trying to put them into the bitch roles, right? I mean, Fiku kind of is, is the bitch role, right? But he, that's, you got to grow into it a little bit. You know, let Adam go out and like, Adam's walking down a ramp on Vertigo, killing three or four people, uh, you know? You saw the game, Johan? Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you, yeah, it's like, when do you, you know? I was really high. This, this like, right here, we're, we're all watching, uh -huh. like yeah. four, or five, four or five guys. It was, whew, heart, yeah. heart, heart attack. And it's like, imagine, you know, you're coming into a tier one team, like a lot of kids, they freeze up. It's like, oh, I got to perform yep. well. I got to protect myself. You know, they, they're hiding in the corner. They're hoping everyone else will do it. But, you know, they're running out. They're taking initiative. I mean. <laughs> You know, uh, Flames is, I think, the pistol from uh, that we ran on Vertigo. Like, that's from, that's from Adam. He's like, I got this pistol. Let's fucking do it. And, yeah, I saw that. You know, we want to. So, we well, were watching the games. Well, I wanted to finish yeah. the thought with, like, every the single time I talk yeah. to Johan, philosophy is always very simple. It's like, management doesn't make decisions. Talk to Nexa. Get the buy-in from the players. And you always say, young is good. Like, people that are excited to Can play. Can be, usually, if they're talented. Of course, yeah. you know, talented and young and motivated is, like, Great combo. And, and they the like anime. That's the other part. They like anime, too. Oh, we have an anime team. Yeah, I've thrown it in there. Anime is the new... Uh, I caught... I mean, hey, even Dexter were watching some Naruto the other day. So, yeah. so we get to Dexter in a second. I don't know. I just want to... Want a little... Yeah. So <laughs> going back to where we were talking about the kids just going down ramp. Yeah. 
we were watching the game with Alex because he's not on the stage, uh, the assistant coach. Yeah. And, uh, and there was like a, a moment where Neofrag goes down, kills one, continues pushing, kills a second one, and he doesn't see anybody else. So he continues walking. And I was like, dude, just pull back. You just won the round. And Alex was like, no, no, no. You can never tell the kids to pull back because then you fuck them, you know, forever. Like they have to play like they have no fear because they have to buy. So he kills the first one. He's going to go for the second one. He's going to go for the third one. Yeah, of course. I mean, the third yeah. guy, fourth guy is probably sitting around the corner like, oh no, <laughs> he's coming. He's like, he's like, oh no, here yeah. the steps. For it's from the retake, still actually more expensive for Ents. True, yeah. Limitations here, three Galils and another fast one from Neofrag. He knows what he wants and he gets himself two kills yet again. That's what? three, Neofrag. Multiple multi-kills across this CT side so far on the what? base of ramp. And how about a fourth? Everything he wants is his on the bottom of the A site. Dude, he's doing this to world's number two. They cannot trade him. Insanity. <laughs> I mean, let the other team limit you, right? Like, if they're going to give it to you, yeah, sure, I'll push every time. Like, but don't be the reason that you, you know... You stop. It's like, oh, that's proper. Like, what? What's proper CS? What's proper Dota? Like, I don't know. You, you actually have to pat them on the back when they when they push recklessly and yeah. they did something horrible. Hey. Like, good one. Like, nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Alex was telling me. Alex was telling me that's how you make these kids into superstars because you're constantly breaking them. No, don't do that. Don't do that. What you kill is their their feeling to play in the game. Right. Yeah. And, and everybody, like when a child dances, they only get like self-conscious when people, when yeah. it actually becomes like a yeah. thing to do, if there's a thing to do, but there's never a thing to do, right? When it's the same thing when you play video games. It's like, yeah. Just play, you know, you yeah. eventually you'll get the feel for what you're supposed to do, right? And if people tell you, you get confused. It's a great note. What did you tell me as well? I remember when we got the 16 year olds, you told me, let them be 16. Let's not make them just grow fast. Because, you know, immediately the thinking is like, okay, this is the schedule. We wake up every day at this time. You do this. We're going to be like that. But then you, you told me, I remember you said, well, if you get 16-year-olds, let them be 16. I mean, you remember how you were when you were 16? I was a horrible person. Yeah. Well, still. <laughs> now, now it's just changed, I guess. Sleep is, sleep is yeah, different. I've grown up. Yeah. 3 a.m. is still a lot of fun. Like, and you have yeah. no fear about tomorrow. <laughs> no consequences of your no actions. No consequences, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, of course, you want, you want people to strive for professionalism. And there, there is definitely a... I mean, for me at least, there's a bare minimum. I mm -hmm. mean, def there's definitely a, a, a line or whatever you cannot cross. But yeah, then you have to be flexible, right? With younger people, especially. Like if you, but there's for some people, even though they have no excuses, they will always make some too. Mm -hmm. So you also don't want that to happen, where it just yeah. becomes too lenient. Um, discipline, discipline. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to bring this chair up. I feel like it's I'm very backwards. short next to you. you gotta, it's backwards. You gotta... It's backwards. So it's on the other side. I think so. Oh, genius. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... We'll give you a throne next time. So then uh, we had the bad news as we were coming back from Dubai that Mantu uh, got COVID. And um, we needed a standing. And then it's the second part of the story. So we knew... Well, we didn't knew, actually. We're going to play like we, could, we knew. No, we didn't know. Yeah. We were talking about it when we opened Twitter and we saw the post from Spirit saying that they were going to part ways with Dexter, mm -hmm. with Abdul. Immediately... I was like, guys, Dexter is available. And they were like, he's not really available. He just said that. So we call him immediately. We call Nikita, the CEO of That's Spirit. True, yeah. Dude, that guy is awesome. Within 10 minutes, he messaged me saying, of course, we're ready to help. Like, I'm giving you the green light. Please talk to Abdul and like anything yeah. I can do to help. So Nikita, if you're watching this, this, you're awesome. Thank you so much. So then we messaged Abdul. And Abdul was like, oh, playing into the tournament? I love playing in a stage. When can we go? In a week or two? And like, no, 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 no. Man, like, no, no, no. Tomorrow. Like, pack your luggage. Yeah, pack your bags. So, yeah, we got him a, a business class flight. And we, because he had to go on a 14-hour flight. Mm -hmm. And then immediately into screaming. Yeah. So I think it's the first business flight we buy in OG. But yeah, he was there and he came in and... Fuck, that well, kid has that energy. You, now that you said it, you know everyone's going to ask for one, right? Like, oh, yeah, well, if I call you two hours before a tournament, you yeah, can ask me. Ah, oh, man, I need my business class flight to come uh -huh. here. Yeah. But yeah, so he came in and he was excited. And I mean, I want to show people to understand one thing. This kid had an incredible major. He has nothing to prove to anybody. He could just sit down at home and the offers were going to fly to him. All right? He literally doesn't have to do anything. But his mentality is, well, if I'm good, 
I'm always going to be good. I'm going to be good in the major. I'm going to be good in blast. I'm just going to be good because yeah. I like playing. And by the time I play with you guys, my stock is going to be even higher. Yeah. And we were like, awesome. This sounds good. Good for come, me. Come and pop up. Yeah. You know? The other thing is you've, you, we found out when I was literally on a plane getting on oh, the it's plane. True, it's true. So you're, I'm arguing with you and it's cutting off mid-argument because I'm just like. <laughs> That's all you're like, Mantu, uh, 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 Mantu. <laughs> yeah. Basically, it's like. Abdul. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting at the airport with my wife and we're just. I was like. Hey, it's true. It's true. I was like, hey, babe. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, my opera. Yeah, he got COVID. Babe uh, is to me, not to yeah. his wife. Just so we're clear about it. I mean, you could. At this point, we're married. So it's fine. Um but yeah, no, and I just hopped on a plane. It's like, okay, now he's got to message everybody, find out who, and then and we didn't get the news from Dexter until I'm on the plane. That's when you said it to me. Yeah. And we're just like, my internet's like dropping out. I'm like, get the, uh, uh, who's get, who are we getting? And it's like, all right, Abdul, I was like, I need you to answer in 20 minutes. All right, cool. Flight, Vladdy, let's go get the details over. Lands. So it was funny because when we talked to Abdul, he was like, okay, can I give you an answer tomorrow? I was like, no, you have an hour. And Mike was like, you don't have an hour. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. And I was like, how much time you have? He's like, I'm leaving in 20 minutes and I need to know before you, the plane takes off. And Abdul was like, okay, give me a second. I'm going to talk to Nikita. And he's like, no, no, I already talked to Nikita. He's like, okay, let me talk to my girlfriend. And I was like, sure. <laughs> 18 minutes. Yeah. And we were on the phone with Vladdy. Vladdy, buy the flight. So he got on a plane. He came and whoo. Now we're here. Kid is magic, huh? Mm. Yeah. Some might say yeah. he slaps. Okay, so now we have we have a few things to talk about Abdul. Uh, first, he has came with this like really openness to be part of a team. So he's like one of the boys, and they met like a day before, mm. and he's like really warm and, and and nice. That's number one. And second is that because this team is new, it's not that he had to change a whole system for him. Yeah. We have no system. We literally play maps that we've never played before in the tournament. Not once as a team. So he came in and we're like playing, it's a pub game right now, a buggy, right? Yeah. It's how they call it in CSGO. We just ran at people and the strategy is like, okay, we know where you are. I'm gonna come and shoot you. Yeah, good strat, works. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm always curious about like CSGO theory. I, I, I guess it's, it's probably really interesting how, I don't know if it's ever been a thing, but in Dota we had OpenAI also come and show mm. that there's an aspect of the game that looks like this. I mean, other than like, don't give the AI like instant flicks and instant yeah. like, you know, headshots, uh, but seeing how maybe strategy wise, they would play like on a human, maybe aiming level, mm -hmm. would play against each other. If it would be very similar to what people are doing, or if there's like a whole other way that might actually inspire or like give you another perception of, because yeah. it does make sense, right? Like you get one, in chess, you can choose to overwhelm on that side yeah. as well, which also I see in CSGO a lot. Mm. There's also the thing of diversion. It's like you fake that you go for this one, but you actually go for the next one. But There's yeah. a lot of set plays, you know, that they have, and yeah, teams yeah. that are very good will have set plays. Our play right now is what you're saying. Okay, Dexter, or Flamesy, or Neofrag, or Fiku, or Nexa, go kill one. That's the play. And when you kill one, we'll figure out where we go. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> the best thing you can do is go, right? That's how you start winning huh? the game. Yeah. Just like, kill oh, one. I killed one. Like, hey! <laughs> but go, go here. Go okay, here. You know? yeah. There's yeah. only two there. I mean, fundamentally, you have like the same way you'd open in chess, right? It's like they're, they're all pretty standard openings. You know, you have your right. defaults into whatever the side you take. Default smokes, default things, the whole lines, and, and blah, use, blah, blah. A lot of times, you know, you're using that utility to actually, you know, create some form of advantage, put the, you know, the opposing side in some form of a position that's advantageous, ideally. Mm -hmm. But at the end game, it's, you got to hit a shot, you know, at some point, right? And if you want to overcome a disadvantage, you have to, you know, hit a couple of shots at that point. Right, right. So I think, you know, we're skipping the, I think if you look at a lot of the utility, like it's very simple, right? A lot of these executes, a lot of these things, you know, they're lightly practiced at that point. So you kind of have to skip that advantage. You have to go in basically blind with, uh, you know, with just your aim. And a lot of times you see that, right? It's like you go down, it's like, this is a simple flash. Like anybody throws it, it's just a pub, you know, but it's in that simplicity, there's, it's kind of a beautiful thing because it's the purest form of the, you know, the right. game. So you add that. Flash plus shots, two yeah. guys versus one or, yeah. or two versus basic, two. Basic, basic smoke, here's a flash, here's a molly, push you back. And it's like, okay, they're going to be here and here. And now it's up to you to hit it. So. If we can do that, um, you know, obviously adding in some more details of the maps, you practice more, you create those set plays, you know, a lot of more, a lot more set pieces with the coaching staff, which have done a great job as well. And, you know, again, you just say, okay, you guys go kill at the end of the day and it works. So. And there was a lot of, again, I don't know CSGO at all, how I know Dota. And 
when I was watching this, they were telling me like, these maps are very CT heavy. I was like, oh, so that means that CT are very good. Okay. And then we were like, oh, maybe not getting that much advantage. But then on our T side, it's literally Neofrag just walking in. Oh, there is two guys here. Boom, boom. Yeah. Toot, 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 toot. Every time someone's at the house and they usually don't know much CS, I always tell them like, even though that we're winning, uh -huh. I'll be like, yeah, even though it's like, you know, the other team's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue whether it's CT or T. It's always the other team side. I mean, it is a, it is a, C, <laughs> exactly. it, is a it is a bit more, C, it's a CT meta, right? Like some apps definitely have you know, distinct advantages. Like Nuke is the big one, right? Like CT side Nuke is like the. And Ancient, you guys were telling me that Ancient is like super CT heavy. No, it's T, T heavy. T? No. T heavy. Really? Yeah, no, oh. I, I made the same mistake. I sat there and told Alex, I was like, it feels like it. I mean. Because we were like, oh, we were like 8-7. It's not going to be a close game. But now we needed to be like, we need to have 10 maps. Well, yeah, Vertigo definitely becomes that like, which is funny, right? Because like, we, want T we, it, we win the T side. But I think yeah. that's the, be the benefit of the style, right? It's so loose and you have people who can, you know, somebody's lurking T side. You, they get an open and kill, like, to split the CTs into like a, if you're in a 5v4 on T side, right? Like, you're always going to have numbers. And even if they all stack a site or, you know, um, even if they're anchoring a strong position, like you can trade one for one in a, in a perfect world, right? That's where you have to hit somebody hit, you know, go above and not hit a couple of shots, right? So, you know, and I think there was a, I think you'd see there's still messy plays, right? People are like not peaking a certain angle or they're just, you know, a little disjointed in the, in the swings, right? But I think at the end of the day, it's, it's volatile, it's unpredictable, but you know, a lot of these guys, they grew up in that environment, they thrive in it. So for us, it becomes natural. And but then, it's a funny game in that sense too. Yeah. I mean, there's a million things to worry about. Sometimes there's an angle you feel like has been checked yeah. or... There's no way he's there, right? And you're not going to bother spending your time, energy, and focus on that angle. And then yeah. you see the other player actually take that to such more of an advantage than yeah. just killing one guy. You yeah. know, you kill, end up killing two guys, making chaos, get almost killing the third one. Yeah. I mean, again, I don't know much CSGO, but that's I see this like level of uh, the mind game, you know? There's so much mind game in those high-level games. And yeah. I, yeah, I'm a noob, but I love seeing it. What I watched it was what I was... I was obviously asking questions backstage to, to Alex and to him. And I was like, okay, so what I can see is we won unwinnable rounds that we were not supposed to win. And then we were able to also lose fives on twos with all weapons. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, well, this, this is amazing because it shows that first, the kids still have a lot of work to do to not lose those rounds. But if they're already winning the unwinnable, it's just do it. There was a, a round with, remember Flamesy in Dash 2 that he was in the stairs and he just had the P250 and he kills oh, yeah, the he first goes, one. Yeah, he goes lower. Tuku, 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 tuku. Yeah, 5-7 five, yeah, five, runs in, cl clips the one, headshots on the jumping guy. The round is over. Yeah. He just won with a P250. I mean, actually the other one too. He had Neofrag off a cat with a, the scout, right? On mm -hmm. CC round. Just Dexter oh. pops him through the smoke on the oh, box. <laughs> Neofrag hits the car and then hits All the car through the box yeah. and then USP one tap, right? And it's like, and gets the diffuse on a 10 second. So we have those that go you know, go our way. Then even, but if you look at the Navi game we played Inferno, right? Five v two, five v four, one v three, one v two, two v four. All advantage rounds that we lose, right? Like deagles are my nightmare at this point. Like I go to sleep and I'm like, oh, nah. done. But but you know that's that's kind of the nature of it, right? Like it shouldn't be, especially in like a five v x situation. Like if you're losing those, like I, I could feel it in the back. Alex is going to throw his laptop through the window, but. Um, but that's just kind of the nature of it. Once you can solidify those, that's when you become great when you don't lose yep. those, those rounds. So, I mean, it could have been even closer. Like, that could have been a 2 0 Navi game. Stats don't lie, but they can be deceiving. Yep. <laughs> no, no, fucking stats are dirty liars. <laughs> so, besides the, the CSGO element, uh, obviously, there's a lot of really fun interaction that have happened because Dexter Abdul is, is a fun guy and he has the slap going on. Oh, yeah. It's like this iconic thing. Dude, I got a slap yesterday and my hand was burning. He can slap. Fiku here was looking so damn good. Oh, we're making sure Flames' hand is, is all good. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. I'm glad Vladdy's doing that. Oh, oh again. So we just we just undid all the good work Vladdy did. Oh, 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 ah. um, can I ask production if I can just go in there and try test this out? I want to see how this feels, you know. That'd be funny. Not me, man. It's, you, know, you, you want to keep your hand safe? Yeah, I don't play as much like as it's you feel. You know? right there we go. Cameraman's doing it. Oh. All right, that's that's. He's good at it though. He's, he's the camera around, he's okay. hitting the it every time. Still yeah. good. All right, we're, we're we're looking fine on that. And it's unfair. He's using his left, whereas whereas Flames is using his right. No, it's, no, no. Oh, he oh, he turns actually. He turns, gives he turns it. To oh, so he's doing his own mouse hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. He war he has that, a, that's fair. That's he fair. warms himself up and Flames. That's yeah, that's great. so that's what it was for. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Nice.
Oh, he's okay. he's really fun and Flancy was like, dude, my hand is like burning, but it's like, I don't know, it's been really fun. When I met him, the first thing I did was he was like going for a hug, and I was like, no, I want you to give me a sl- I want I want to slap. slap. I want to slap instead. I got a hug. I got a hug. I have photo. I took the hug. Math. We're gonna put photos of the hug. We're gonna put photos of the slap. I want videos of the slap. The, there was like an incredible uh, camera because the camera's audio is from three cameras away, and you can hear the yeah. Yeah, so Everything. you're gonna hear like the camera is doing something else and it's in thick one, you're gonna hear on the background. Bah! We're gonna we we're gonna have after this, we're gonna have a blast compilation video of Slap. just all of the slaps. Uh-huh. Every single one. The 10 minute ASMR video. Yeah. Just gonna loop it while I'm studying. You're gonna hear <laughs> just it's going gonna across. Be yeah. And so far it's been great. Uh the guys are in a great mood. Dude, Neofrag is hilarious. That kid is fucking hilarious. Dude, he's he's stand up comedian on the They're all they're all actually they're, they're so like individually funny i mean you know you have um you have fiku and, and flamesy right like both of them together they're just like I mean, they're kids right they're both super young i think they're both 18. uh he like, just turned 19. Uh, he just turned 19. Yeah, his birthday was the other and flamesy is in one month still a kid i mean he's, he's perpetually 16 in my mind but uh <laughs> but yeah you have those two like just off of each other and then adam is kind of just like we'll just say the most ridiculous shit, and then it's like in game it's just it's just great like it, it creates an environment i think you know we didn't really have before where it was just like kind of going in a little bit robotic at times where it's like you know ah, kids bring the the spark they, you know, yeah. like the young energy brings like something and special every one of them broken english their jokes are fucking hilarious because they kill half of the jokes because they say the wrong the wrong jokes and the wrong words yeah. i mean yeah uh, i can imagine but yeah, I mean, it's great to have him in, like just with that that youthful energy, if you will. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's it's always a nice thing to have because, you know, you feel that environment. Like, I think what was it when, um, you know, you could see just the emotion on their face when they're playing the games, and it's just like a nice, it's a nice shade. But you know, they're enjoying it. You know, that's the big thing. Like, they are enjoying they, it. They, they're just like, I'm happy to fucking be here. Like, I'm gonna, you know. It's the same thing that we saw. The same thing. I just feel like I'm living in like a the Groundhog Day. The same thing that I said about Dora is the same thing that we're seeing about CSGO. We had people on the roster that are incredibly accomplished players that are fantastic, but maybe their grind and passion cannot be compared with a 16 year old or 17 year old or 18 year old. These guys are so happy, so excited. Dude, the first thing that they did, all of them just plug their mouse, plug their keyboards. Yeah, right away. Let's go play. Let's go play, you know? Because they're excited. Like, fuck, I never play with you. Come on, let's play, you know? Yeah. That's a good approach. Good Dude, approach. when I was 18, I would love to play those things. Now I have a, I just feel different about it. Yeah, I think there's also, I mean, there's probably some more layers to, to everything. I also think there's a smart way of building, mm. building a team or when you start out a project like this, same way, let's open a kitchen tomorrow, a pizza shop. It might be beneficial if one dude is on top or knows making, how to make pizza, yeah. knows how to make pizza <laughs> and like kind of makes a plan and then people have a role in that plan and you mm. execute it. That's a simple way of doing mm-hmm. good things, like good projects, right? And the same thing with like chefs and uh, yep. chefs in the kitchen and, and, and what's the, what's like a sub chef, like sous, the, chef. Uh, sous chef, yeah. sorry. Um, having sous chefs and, and so on and so on. I think, yeah, if you, if, I think it's very comparable in Dota, in competitive games and competitive mm-hmm. sports that you also have some type of role division, mm-hmm. like a system and leadership or hierarchy uh, usually makes for a better yeah, because everybody wants to find their place in a team as well. Everybody yeah. wants to yeah. find their role, you know? And especially like honeymoon phase, I think that's often what you also see. Mm-hmm. I mean, honeymoon phase goes, I think, for every sport, every esport, every yeah. every new project, every relationship, more or less. And I think there's a lot more willingness to uh, self-sacrifice and sacrifice in the beginning. Yeah. At some point, people start getting that idea and that feeling of, oh... I, they, they should do more for me or they're not doing enough for me. Yeah. I feel I'm doing more than they <laughs> I, are. Or so I know that so, feeling. You know? Um, and yeah, in the beginning, that was not even a question. You were happy to do whatever and you still will go to bed with a smile yeah. on your face. And, and yeah, I think if teams, it's, it's easier when you're older to get grumpy and to get <laughs> probably there. But with young people and people who haven't seen the world enough, they might be happy. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was going to say that we have a good staff, a coaching staff, Anexa. So Nexa takes all the shitty roles. He's let everybody take their roles. He sets the time and he, he calls yeah. people in and, and stuff. And so yeah. Alex is great, our assistant coach. Mm-hmm. He works a lot in one-on-ones. And then Casper is the one putting the plan together of the overall. Mm. And then, for example, like Casper and Alex will come the plan and they will present it to Nexa. 
And next I was like, okay, I like this. I don't like this. This is good. Nice. Shit, this play is really good. And now he's not the one teaching it to the team. Alex and Casper teach it to the players. Okay, so this is how you're going to play this. This is going to play, mm -hmm. which really means that next I can fall, focus on clicking heads, playing good, you know, mm -hmm. without having to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same thing in Dota, I think. A coach can make so much alleviation, especially if they start taking over more in the draft too. Mm -hmm. It's like it can create so much of a relief. Yeah. Um, yeah, whereas when you when you do t end up taking too much responsibility in, in any in anything, I'm sure it's gonna have a, at least some negative impact. You know, yeah. I mean, there's there's just that there's like a there's a finite amount of resource you have, right? Right. Between time and mental capacity, and even in the game, like only the, human after all. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, it's like with um, you know, with the guys. Even even the day I walked in for the the first time, and they um, you know. Casper was quizzing them on the plays. He's like, ah, I saw yeah, that. It was yeah. hilarious. It's like, like, a, like a teacher. Okay, yeah, so I mean, after we do that, teacher, yeah. what do we do? Yeah, just, he's like, yeah, yeah. Fika, what do you do? Anti eco zombie. And he's just like, uh, I go here Quiz and do this. Yeah, he did it. He did it. Yes. Yeah, no, he literally go through that. But it's like, that's funny. you know, it's good to have that top down structure where it's like you have the coaches in clearly defined roles. They clearly know what to do. Nexus steps in. The, but the players can also then, like, hey, I got this idea. I got this idea. And you churn because you want to keep that environment open, right? The worst thing to mm -hmm. do, I think, is. You stifle that creativity because it's like yeah, teams can be successful with a really good coach. You know, yep. if he tells you do this, do this, do this, and it's like you might win, but like you can have a hierarchy and yeah. disagreements and, and contradicting ideas and still be the most functional team in the world. Like yeah. it's not uh, they don't it doesn't cross. Yeah. You, you can be very parallel with all that. Yeah. Well, of course, there's going to be a limit. Of course, like at times, if you do not see the world the same yeah. and if you do not see anything the same, I mean, surely then you've got to commit. You can't. Yeah, but, you can't. It's, yeah. The best players often have varying opinions about mm -hmm. I mean, a million subjects, right? You have so many things to, <laughs> to think and talk about. Exactly. So one of the things that we always looked into was like, Nexa, what, what does he likes to do? You know, how does he drive? And I think that there's a, a, a literally a polar opposite between Nexa and Alexi. Alexi needed a very structured and regimented gameplay. And he was always looking for the perfect rounds you know he was like mechanical we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do this you're gonna molly there you're gonna do this you're gonna do this and the more mechanized the round was the better he was able to engineer the game plan nexa needs players that come with ideas and say hey this is what i do that will give us the best possibility mm -hmm. so literally abdul comes in and said this is what i need to do so I can help you win rounds because that guy, I'll fuck him. When he shows up there, I'll take the kill. Trust yeah. me. Is this Mike? Is this a herald view of, <laughs> of the situation? <laughs> no, it's just what it's, I, I, <laughs> this is what Nexus talked to me yesterday. He's like, okay. he told me I like that Fiku tells me this is how I play B point because mm -hmm. he's been playing B point for yeah, three years on Vertigo. We don't have practice on it because that's what they played in their old teams. Like um, Fiku played B, uh, Neo played A, and they played those maps. So it's like. Okay, we've played the we've played it once. Like in the RMR, we lost it. And we're just like, okay, you guys have played here. Enjoy. You guys are sticking to it because, I mean, who's the expert at that point, right? The like, guys who've been playing the map and like they're going to be comfortable. And if we have two guys who are comfortable, like it allows them to start making those kills. They don't have to think. It's just like, oh, I'm going to push ramp and kill four people. I've just done this before. Yeah. So instead of Nexa coming with the play, he will be like, Fiku, how do you play B point? And Fiku will be like, I'm here in this round, so I do this and this. So he, Fiku will be asking, you molly me here, you flash me there. Nexa was like, awesome. So now that we have this expert, how do we make that game plan, you know? And then he will go to Neofrag. You play A, right? He plays A yeah. in Vertigo. Mm -hmm. So how do you play A? So, and then Abdulin plays a lot of Dust. It's one of his best maps. So Abdul is like, this is how I play Dust. Awesome. Like you said, it's the honeymoon, it's the standing, it's first tournament. Everybody is willing to sacrifice yeah, anything. But you can go on yeah. forever. Yeah. As long as you maintain and you do the right things, you can, you can. Yeah. Nexa basically feels like, I think what he does is like, you know, some games he will take more of a, a I don't say a passive approach, but, you know, his role fills in. Like, there's clear markers for like, you're going to be doing this, you're going to be doing this because you've been in that position, you know what you want. And then Nexa just takes a pick of the map and says, all right, I can be this, I can be right here, I'll assist you, I'll assist you. So we can kind of, you know, move around in that sense. And when you have people who know what they want to do, you know, they can pull the resources from other people and say, oh, what are you doing right now? No, 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 come with me. I'm going to go do this. We'll make this play. And it's, they're not set micro plays. We're like, all right, we're going to go, 
we're going to invade here at this time and do this and like set a ward and catch somebody on the rotation. It's like, yeah, that comes down the road. Now it's just like, yeah, let's just push this together and we'll, I'll flash you, you go in, little micro plays. I mean, me and Sam could honestly play, I think. Let's just push this B, rush B together. Uh-huh. I see you, Blake. <laughs> Don't scratch your head, Mike. This, is, this will work. I was thinking about Valor. That's all I was thinking of for a second, yeah. Oh, I saw Figu uh, playing yesterday. I think, what was the, the dust map? Yeah. He just locked half a map by himself. He became a nuisance. He, you could not get him out of that fucking corner. I mean, you could. They, they did it a couple of times. A few times. But yeah, a couple of times. He will take two or three like guys this, with him, like, you know? He can't, his screen was white. Yeah, yeah. Or he was looking at a brick wall and then snappy shot in the back of the head. But, you know, the, we, he had the 1v3, so that makes up for it. When he was T on that side of a map, oh, yeah, he, was just, he would just lock everybody. Yeah. He locked two of them the whole point the whole time. Because if they were not two, he will, he, will, he will push it. Yeah, Fiku's in B, he's in mid, he's in, does, he's in he's, my kitchen right now really making fun. a sandwich. Yeah, it's fucking great. It was really fun. <laughs> so now we have, this is the best showing we had uh, at a tournament in CSGO. And we are playing so far at the stage. So uh, Flamesy has never played on a stage yet. Mm-hmm. And since the time that I've been in OG, nice. I've never seen the CSGO guys play on a stage. Uh, it's going to be hype. I mean, so I really want to... Get there, and I want to cast a daughter game. So I'm wondering if I'm going to do both at the same time mm. from the phone casting. You think it will work? Yeah, I mean, I can be. In, you can be <laughs> in. in laughing. <laughs> you can be in my in my hotel room, which is like across the street from the venue. Uh-huh. So the moment that the game finishes, you walk. That's right. Who are we playing tomorrow for Dota? We are playing Entity. Yeah. Entity. Okay. So if you want to cut like a minute, because if you finish casting here, you still need 40 minutes to get there. But if you're casting the, the game in front of a stadium. I'll think on it. Okay. I'll think on it. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. We'll give him a VIP ticket. You can just come in. We'll, add, we'll just ask Blast to set you up right there. And just... I am actually. You could. Yeah, talk to him. Why not? Okay. Let me talk Maybe. to, to Let's them. Let's see. That would be cool. In the arena? In the VIP lounge. I don't think so. The there's, arena. there's noise. It doesn't matter. There's good ambience. If you're in the, like the lounge, okay, I'll, 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 I'm not joking. I'll, Make it happen. Yeah. Okay. Make it happen. Yes, sir. Yes, yes daddy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Did you say yes, daddy. Yes, yes daddy. daddy. Yes, daddy. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, that's that's how it's in my phone. Yeah. Daddy. Daddy. Okay. Big daddy. Uh, besides that, um, I besides CSGO, there's another thing that has happened uh, during these few days in Lisbon that it makes me very happy. Sorry, very upset, not happy. I just got dumpstered by Johan playing ping pong. Mm. He's been trying hard in. It's on yeah. in this house. Like dumpstered. It's I a ping just. Pong house. He got me 2 1 2 1 2 1. Or two, there was under 2 0 maybe in the middle. No, no I one. think it was. 2 1 2 1 2 1? No, 2 1 2 0 2 1. All right. yeah. But when I left a few months ago, uh, he was not this player. He's been try hard in. Just to show dominance. Mm. No, it's getting better. I am getting. He has me. He was like, oh, we should play maybe just one game. Oof. <laughs> Shall we show the setup, Matt? We'll show the setup later. Yeah, it's a little hard. We, we just got this to work. You want to try to turn this around? Oh, no. Yeah. Don't no. touch anything. No, don't no, touch no. anything. We have to, like, brush the, the sweat right before the game is started. Sorry, the podcast started because we were really tryharding. But no, I, we've been playing a lot in this house. Uh, Misha and True have also been on the ping pong train. It's yeah. been a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, Are they good? Yeah, they both play good. They both got spinning balls. I'll say True, True has been more on the grind. Misha has been more focused on Dota and NBA 2K. Uh, <laughs> it's such a weird combination that he it's will... so weird to see Misha play <laughs> NBA yeah, 2K a with a controller dude that's what he does dude I can't I, I just can't picture it like I'm li- I'm like thinking about how I hear him talk when I'm like listening to, to scrim vods and like what he's calling things and I'm just like I can just I, I need to see him playing 2K to be like if he gets mad like what how does he react to 2K uh, it's like so my bedroom is you know yeah, a, bit, yeah, a bit down yeah. the hall from the gaming room and even with like the three doors closed I can hear Misha when he gets like the last score in an intense game. And it's like full. I can even hear him how his arms are like, yeah. He gets into it. He's loving it. NBA 2K is such a weird combination. I've never heard somebody say, like, <laughs> hi, I play Dota and NBA 2K. I am from Russia and I live in Lisbon. Lisbon yeah. Where the fuck does NBA love come from? But anyway, give it yeah. to Golden State Warriors. 4-2, the finals. Dude, I know basketball. No, but, but Misha, <laughs> Misha, Misha is so funny. It's like, I, I had no idea that he was so much into basketball as well. We're outside chilling. And then, <laughs> then he goes, uh, Kobe, MJ got to play. Let's go. 
like to chew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't ready for but it. You really think so that he ready. watches basketball? Is just he no, like? He does, bro. He has all the history locked oh up. Oh my man. god, he, he's super into it. Have you been watching the finals? He's been watching all of it. He stays up at night. Like he gets up early in the morning. What uh, the fuck? Like, but he keeps now. the in, huh? the morning now. Is it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, he's a, he's a basketball in, uh, connoisseur in, enthusiast. enthusiast. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, man. So, well, it's good. There's a lot of some sports. We, there's also season again for volleyball. Last last we, year, Mirvisha was uh, taking on the volleyball. Uh, we had volleyball on last night. Everyone was like so intrigued by it at, the, at dinner. Yeah, well, there was like a female volleyball. It was uh, what is playing. It? Dominican Republic and Italy were playing yesterday. Yeah. Oh. Everyone was just watching volleyball. It was awesome. They're really it's good. Good sport. Yeah, we should get into it. Building, building that outside. We have. We, we have. have a we used to have it. We, we have, yeah, used to. But oh, dude, like no, the we stories. We're gonna put it up again. The oh. stories is that we we had at one point Mike, who is very very short, mm. and we have Saksa, who is very very <laughs> tall. Yeah. And some reason Saksa is playing behind, like very far behind. I was like, dude, no, no, no. He was not very good. We put stand in front and just do this. Just stand. And if the ball comes to you, just do this, and he is dom dominated. To Tobias was also. The other good player. Well, he was good. He was good yeah. serve. I but was good at serving too. Topias will trust me on ping pong, and I will trust him on, on there. So uh, by the way, Top is watching. We're doing rematch ping pong as soon as possible. Topias, yeah, I'm he's getting... been try harding just for you. Uh, he's trying to bring the king down. Yes, I, I'm gonna knock zero points. I'm gonna do eleven. Topias zero just do this this spin. He's so yeah. annoying to play. The whole thing. It's just time spin. The same. It's just the same. And you know what, Tito one? He's really shit at the game. Like he's super shit at ping pong. He cannot play for his life. But still, he could beat me because he would just mirror my movements and do faces, and I would laugh uncontrollably. That's he could thing. actually beat me like oh this. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah I you couldn't take it. So hard at ping pong. Huh? You can mind games so hard in ping pong. You can, you can, but but other people have tried doing this, but when T21 does it, I don't know why, it would like get it's to my funny. core and I couldn't stop laughing. I, I couldn't play. When I, when I was playing at the um, um, the other offices, what I would do is I'd always keep my hand in my pocket and it would just, it would just, <laughs> it, would people. it would tilt people <laughs> so hard. Like, I wasn't great, right? Don't get me wrong. I don't want to put it yeah. at like, because like, I know some people are going to watch this and they're going to be like, Mike, you suck the ping pong. <laughs> but... The, that was your move. But that's my move. It's just hand behind my back or in my pocket and just like... Oh, that's but I, really good. But yeah. I play super slow. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I go like this. I'm like, ah. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh. And then just like, they get so aggressive when they make their own mistake. <laughs> and then they get more frustrated. Like, if you don't have a strong mental, you just, you just lose to yourself. Exactly. When you're doing the ball below the table too and like really oh. slowly like, oh. Like it's so casual. You're oh. nonchalant. It's like, no, I need you to be invested in this. With me, he tilted me today because there was a point that I, I kept walking by. Yeah. That I that I won for him. That I I beat it, and I was kidding. I was going for his tender parts. He put the racket there just to protect himself, and the ball hit me. I was like, "Fuck you!" That was that was my point. We we play intended again. intended. You can you can call it luck. I've heard this excuse many times before. Luck? But yeah, you're as you're protecting you're... yourself from the racket. I mean, you you shot the ball, I shot it back, it hit your table, I won the point. And yeah, I, won, yeah. I won three sets. Yeah. Or we, won three, we play uh, with like weird matches. house rules because you're allowed to surf anywhere yeah. and the ball is allowed to go everywhere. So we're like fainting yeah, to see. Nobody had abused the rule. Like, so Jay would start serving inside the table. Like he would take the ball up to the net and serve like this. Just like drop Nobody it actually abused the rule like yeah. that. Everybody would be able to serve a bit more left we're and right, yeah. but outside the table. Everybody would have the decency decency <laughs> we're talking about winning <laughs> i i think you're completely wrong and <laughs> and I, i'm sure you know you're completely wrong but it's okay wow i mean just cheat better don't get caught how just do i reach cut. these kids <laughs> <laughs> you've seen it the what <laughs> the uh, south park <laughs> episode yeah. you can't, can't, man. Mm. he goes there he uh, goes to like some of the tough schools and yeah. like the, the poverty line uh schools and whatever where everything is like out of control okay. like, teachers have no control it's, I think it's from a movie, right? Aren't they making fun of a movie? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, it's one of those... Is like, it Michelle Pfeiffer's movie? I don't know. It's some movie about, you know, a romantic story of, of, a, of a teacher that reaches kids who are like, you know, uh, yeah. and brought up in rough neighborhoods. Dude, and there's so, so many movies like that. But there's then, dancing well, movies, there's basketball movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was like, whatever. Coach Carter? And then I mean, Gardner yeah. just has that role and he has this yeah. line he keeps repeating. How do I reach these kids? It's good. It, uh, good episode. So living in, in the sunflower house, I haven't been here since I moved away, which was like a year ago. Last nearly. summer, I guess, yeah. Last summer. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good here. Yeah. See, There's some new, things have moved. Yeah, a lot of new constructions. There's a, yeah, there's a wall behind us. There's a wall behind us. Wall here now. 
This and was this was actually one of the more recent things yeah. and quick things, the quickest thing by far. Yeah. Really, the padding? The, the, wall. the whole no, wall. The whole, wall. It's the whole the padding was just a final touch. This, this that, that should not yeah. take too long. Right? This, this was here when I. Uh, this wasn't here when I was here back in February. This, oh, this was done in. Yeah. I think two weeks to put this thing up. Really, that's awesome. Uh, we're getting a, a balcony sliding glass door over there. It's going to be nice, and another door over there, and this will be very soundproof. So this room will be super soundproof. So every single time I have I come to Lisbon, there is a whole new story. There is a whole new Johan story and a new Walter story. Walter is walking now around there, but if I'm going to make fun of you, maybe I should bring in front of a camera. Every fucking time there is something new coming. So I, I walk by the pool and there's a group of Danish people there just, just swimming. And I was like, Johan, who are these people? Oh, no, they are the construction workers that we have. And they're just in the pool. It's like, no, they are my friends. Like Right now there is what? Three dogs, two babies. No, three dogs, one baby, two kids, seven families. Nine Danish people, two Portuguese people. Like, what is this happening? It's Mich like a Misha's parents. Are Misha's parents. Like, I Sorry, I forgot. I forgot the daughter team, of course. Oh, yeah, and then we have two Russians, <laughs> one Ukrainian. There's like a joke somewhere here, you know? What? The, you should, every time. You should eh? see the squash, man. You should see the squash. The squash is like this big right now. Yeah. The squash out in the garden. Oh, okay. Now yeah. we're talking about best of. Yeah. 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 We have it all, man. Anything yeah, you need. It's just, it's just a crazy house. Yeah, no, it's good ambience. It's good vibe. It is. It is like yeah. I feel like I'm somewhere in like a, like an, in a dorm in university. I don't know. I, I I quite like it. I think most people like it. I mean, obviously the Dota team is also more. Um, yeah, they have, they their, have own their own space. Yeah. They, they're. I mean, for me, I would want to protect like the training environment and and like also their headspace. This is made for them, but around this, I think it is quite homey and it is quite um, good good ambience. I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's but it's a funny place. It's it is a fun place. Everybody's super nice, but it was like every time I go by, it's like, so who are these people? I've never met them before. Yeah, yeah. Nah, the walks of life. Uh -huh. Make sure you meet people again. As a lot of people I haven't seen in a long time, and it's funny how things worked out. And now some people are here building a deck. All very of nice deck. All of Johan's friends became construction workers. That's what happened. <laughs> he's only he's only made friends with construction workers. I mean, it works out, I mean, dude. After two years in Portugal. I just want to make friends with construction workers because it's been so hard. It's not easy. It's not so easy. hard to yeah, get the house yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's getting there. It looks like a lot had been done in the past couple of months, though. So, yeah, I mean, there's always more things to do, but yeah. a lot of the original things that I want to get done. I mean, that list is getting a yeah. little shorter, but mm. yeah, I think it can be done within half a year. Awesome. Half a year. Dude, I remember Finding the right contacts. I granted. Yeah, but, I remember yeah. when the deadlines in the house were like two weeks or three weeks. Those days no, 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 real. Get out of here. We don't talk yeah. about weeks anymore. No, no, no. Weeks were we're on months. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, Lisbon is still one of my favorite cities in the world. Yeah. There is a great vibe, great food, great people. Everybody seems happy, dude. When you walk on the street, there is like this happiness. I mean, I live in LA and I love it, but I wouldn't say happiness is a defining factor. What you see in people's faces, I don't think happiness and enthusiasm is. You can see grind, you can see ambition, you can see like dreams. I mean, there's the enthusiasm that screams like, don't fire me or give me a good rating, which is like, I mean, in the service industry, in the service that's, industry. that's okay. the most yeah. like uh, encroaching thing when you come from Europe. It's like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Nice, niceness, like forced niceness. Yeah, please, Servers. please love me, please. I, yeah, need, yeah, I, need yeah. the I have to say, I really enjoy the service industry in America here, everybody. <laughs> He doesn't give a fuck about me. They in don't Roma care. In Romania, when we went to TI. It's... That's great, honestly. They don't I, care. I like that, though. They, they make me feel that, honestly, I don't even sure that I'm that excited that you're in my restaurant. It's like, I think that it's better <laughs> that you're not here, because that way I don't have to serve you food. I don't have to work. I don't have to work. I don't have to pretend that I care yeah, about see, you. See, but I, I don't like... Have you, you've, have you gone to Chick-fil-A ever? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, I don't know. But, like, when I go there and they're like... Have a great day. I'm just like, and they're just like, it's so forced. Ah! It's just, I, no, I, I have a great day. I, I remember, love it. I remember driving. I was like, no, you too. We are both going to have no, great days. Just, Bring it on, Michael. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to read this. Uh, Woo! Read yeah. No, but I, I'm like, I'm pulling up. Like when I used to go there, I was like, I pull up after a long day of work and I'm just like, I just want to, I just want fried chicken. I just want a fried chicken sandwich. It's all I want in my life right now. <laughs> I don't need the, I want to, I want somebody to be angsty so I can feel like I need, I need to feel something like, this, and then someone comes up and they're like, 
hey man, have a great one. And I just like, no, I want you to be edgy. Like, tell me to fuck off. Like, just be the worst person, you know? And I'm like, I don't, I don't need that. I don't, I, need, I don't need that positivity in my life. I do need that positivity. Oh. So let me put it the other way around. I finished a day, hard day of work. I want somebody to give me a chicken sandwich and tell me, you know what? Have a great day. I'm like, thank you, bro. Oh, no. You too. We're both going to have great days. I, I like and then that. all of a sudden you started working at a McDonald's. I don't know how that happened. That's how that it's works. amazing. I, I actually love it. I love the service industry in, in oh, America. No. I don't like the force of like, just be honest. Like you, like you're working here. You hate, if you hate your job, like I want you, I want to feel the vibe. I want to negatively no, no, relate to no. that. No, no, no. Yeah. I don't believe that servers need to show always positivity. Of course, there's a, there's a baseline. I, I can't, I can't yeah. carry your load. I can't have your You always vibes. talk about the fucking French restaurant that you went and you hated the experience. Remember? Yeah, but yeah, that do. Of told course, the story of course, here? But that's the owner. Yeah, sure. Told... I don't think I've told the story. Oh, but the story is fantastic. It's like it's the first story time, time. I... story time, story time. First time I went to Paris in my adult life or something like being, uh -huh. um, being 18 plus, I go there and it's like sunny day. It's nice. I'm like living the Paris vibes and the movies going in my head and the stories are going in my head. I'm meeting Seb soon. I go to a cafe. I sit down. We meet up. It's like no, we don't get service for 10, 15 minutes or something. Mm. Nobody comes to, to check on us. So we go up to the counter and it's like, uh, what, um, uh, what do we want? I don't remember. We asked for a menu or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and the guy, he goes, he yells something in French, like super pissed off, super mad, super bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The atmosphere just gets really sour right away. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at Seb. I'm like, I can't wait for him to translate this. Yeah. because what's going on. Um, and Seb goes outside and it's like, I can't believe what I just heard. You know, <laughs> this is my first impression of Paris I, or real first yeah. impression of Paris. Like. He, apparently the guy was yelling at his at his waiters like just but kind of out into the air it's like what am i paying these monkeys for <laughs> it's like wow <laughs> just like little little workers for him you know and, and that was uh... and that's why you pay your waitress tip no no i mean that, that, that dude was just pissed off <laughs> no i, mean, I understand obviously he yeah. he was, i think he was running the show you know he was, it was his cafe or something yeah, but uh, but again it's like you don't have to show Force kindness. You don't have to show force positivity. Of course, there's like a baseline, but be human. You know, if you're having a bad day and and maybe you give up a little bit, that's just nature. You know, yeah, and it's okay. Right. And sometimes, yeah. I mean, I did. I worked at the. I worked food service for a bit. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to say it. But you know, there's some people you're just like fuck off, and there's other ones that you're just like. Quite often, when people go on autopilot like throughout their day, and they are actually not. Hello, how are you? Hey, great. What about you? Great. Oh, thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you so much, you too. I do this like 15 people before I go to work. Right, right. And it's okay as well. Like, it's okay to be an autopilot, I would say, at times. Yeah. But it is definitely a better experience mm -hmm. to, at some point, be like, have a great day, my friend, you know? Uh, so let me put it this way. Even when it's autopilot, I would wow. say that the person that is on the other side wants to be kind to you, but they're kindness response is already embedded in their minds so they think that to be kind that's how they're kind. i mean i'll, I'll jump a, a level deeper with yes. this because you know i, I paid eighty thousand dollars for a shitty degree so i might as well use it go for it Mike. Um, yeah so there's always there's always you have to consider the, the intention of the action of mm -hmm. like because you can autopilot and you, can, you cannot say anything so you're, you are making a conscious or unconscious decision mm -hmm. to say something right if i see somebody I don't want to talk to like I'm going to try to avoid or if I do I'll keep the conversation minimal but like sometimes you go to a conversation where it's like I might tangentially know somebody but I want to get to know them better or want to do something else so there's an ulterior motive behind that and then you're just like yeah how do I approach the conversation and it could be faking it up and then kind of working your way into an authentic conversation so I agree that's are, the American way yeah you start with a fake and then hopefully you move into so now how is everything in your project you know but like the pleasantries dude in America they're one of my favorite things in LA, all we do is talk about traffic. First five minutes of every business conversation. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, so whoa, the traffic, you took the 405. No, I actually took the other one. And it's like, no, I was like, oh, that's great. You took Lincoln? No, I took Lincoln. Oh that's great. Okay, so let's talk about the project. Right, I think that's everywhere, honestly, because even from New Jersey, we're like, ah, oh, man, I got stuck on nine or I was in the parkway. Uh -huh. But but see, like oh we were in, in Jersey, we refer to just by exits, like where you got off on the parkway versus like California is like, oh, yeah, the 405. It's like, yeah, no shit. The I'm not is joking. Yeah. People that I've never met in my life, that's literally the first thing we talk about. And then they sit down. That is like the, now we sit down, you want water? Okay. Okay. So talk to me about your project. So yeah, look, I run an esports company. But the first five minutes, 
just to break yeah. the ice. And then they go like Fortnite, and then you're like, oh, it's <laughs> then you leave. <laughs> then you're like, I'm not it's giving you a tip. You're done. But yeah, so I don't know. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy America. Fuck it, I'm American. I don't have to yeah, feel I, bad about being American. I, I no, I mean, I don't feel. I, USA, USA. I enjoy America minus like you know the minus Dota America and CS:GO America. You know. Well, I mean, well, one of those things doesn't exist in America, and the other thing, um, you know, you know, with that, and then like Moon Ender, we love you. <laughs> I was, like, I was talking about CS:GO. What do you mean? Oh snap! Turn it around. Turn it around. Yeah. There's Dota. I mean, hey, TSM is a that's what American Moon, Dota Moon Meander? CSGO doesn't exist almost anymore, right? Uh, I mean, well, e, uh, EG has three rosters. 15 players. 15 players. <laughs> together, right together in the server. Uh, <laughs> they try to see. Three? They try to see if they can win a game with 15 players well, in the server. In the, US, like in the U.S., there's antitrust laws. And I'm pretty sure if you have 30 of the entire market. Then, oh, right. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Something okay. like that. Well, no, it's, like, it's them. They have Liquid. And then... Liquid is U.S.? Liquid, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a Liege, Nitro. Oh, it's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, OC. Shocks and uh, I'm gonna. I seem like a moron right now. Not yet, but yeah. We can edit. Just do a mic like yeah. You, you, like the, you know the scene. You know the scene in uh, in The Godfather where he's like, I talk to bars like that one. That's like mm -hmm. the, just do that right there. The Coyote family don't even have that kind of muscle anymore. The Godfather is sick, right? You're getting chased out of New York by Bazzini and the other families. What do you think is going on here? You think you can come to my hotel and take over? I talk to Bazzini. I can make a deal with him and still keep my hotel. Um, it actually, I didn't know what that was for a while. I was like, I was like, is that the same thing? Like, did I like what happened with this movie? I didn't get it until recently that it was like it had to be done in posts because technology wasn't there yet. But mm -hmm. um, this is me, and this is your reference. You've never seen The Godfather? I have seen The Godfather several you've times, but I have no idea what you're Mo talking Green, about. like when he's at the table when they're sitting down talking about it, when Fredo is like trying to go back and forth with them. That's like iconic scene. Uh, I remember something. It was about so that. math, math, please find this clip so we can all understand this. Yeah. I watched for the episode to come out so I can understand this reference. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, that's the. Uh, you're the you're the film guy. I right? know, I know. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to hold my shame right now, and my microphone and my shame come together. This is why you don't. This is why nobody wants to tip. Like God. This is nobody. That's why I don't make movies Jay, anymore. Nobody. Jay gives Jay gives obscure movie references to the waiters, and if they don't get it. Doesn't tip them. That's his, that's how he feels better about himself. <laughs> If I ever go uh, on dinner with you and I ask you what your favorite movie is, yes, is, I'm judging what is, you. What is your favorite movie? I have so many of them. You can't say it now. All the women are going to know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to help My them, favorite right? movies, I would say that I consider that I have several different tiers of level 10s, mm -hmm. the perfect movies, because I can see like Dumb and Dumber be a perfect 10 for those movies. Well, I can say like Gladiator is a perfect 10 for those movies. But together, they will be like, dude, that is a shitty movie. And that is like, no, no, no. Dumb and Dumber is perfect for what it tends to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. So comedies, I will say my favorite comedies are Big Lebowski, uh, Dumb and Dumber, Wedding Crashers. Like those really? are... You enjoy Wedding Crashers that much? You put it in your top three? Love it. Really? I love Wedding Crashers. I like the body comedies. But if you go to dramas, then I love like Moonlight in the Moor for Love, uh, a Prophet, the French movie. There's a few dramas that I... Just sort of romantic comedies? Blue Valentines. Mm -hmm. I don't watch romantic comedies. Uh, what was that you said? Uh, was that dramas. Romantic dramas? You, no, just dramas. Just dramas. Not, oh, not okay. romance. I heard romantic. I didn't know those movies. No, no, just dramas and they're amazing. Okay. Okay. And But the movies that I like the most, the ones that I... Why I make movies are epic. Mm -hmm. So I watched Willow growing up and I was like, now nah, I want to make you like Gladiator so much. Mm -hmm. as well. yeah. yeah, Gladiator, uh, Troy, Last Samurai... Like I've what watched... did you think of 300 then? No, it was not my thing. Because oh, I like yes, yes. epic based or grounded in More grounded. either reality yeah. okay, yeah. or just full fantasy like Willow, Lord of the Rings. 300 was super based Harry reality. Potter. You know, what are you talking I've, about? You know, I've never seen Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh my God! What? <laughs> so never, I officially never... am putting it out. We're looking for a new head of esports. Um, <laughs> a new head of esports. Unfortunately, uh, this is just not going to work out. What? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I just, I've never. I've, what do you I, mean? What you have never watched? I, Come up with look, something. I, you can't speak. I sat. Like, speak. I, one second. I, Thank you for saving me about my <laughs> my opinion yeah. about servers. <laughs> I have the worst opinion. What the fuck, Mike? I've never. I've. I literally turned on the first. Like when I, I sat down, I was like, I'm gonna try to watch them. Right when I'm on the plane, I'm like, I have enough time. I on the plane. <laughs> and I get through. I get through 30 minutes, and I was like, I could watch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> 
Or I could watch Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Oh, and I was like, all right, I'm watching Abraham Lincoln. Oh. Terrible movie. But Have you watched Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah, I watched Harry Potter. So you yeah, watch right. Harry Potter and you haven't seen Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I like I'm Harry here. Potter, but I just can't watch Lord of the Rings. Have you seen? Come here. You're coming out of the camera. Uh, you're coming <laughs> out of the camera. <laughs> no, I just drifted. Look, you're, you're, literally, you're, literally you're literally, you're literally leaving the shot. Away, yeah. You're oh, leaving sorry. the shot as That's as fine. we as we speak. Uh, he wants to get as far away from you as possible. I get it. No, I haven't. I, I, I think I've no, but I think I've seen. I think I've seen the Hobbits. Oh. The Hobbits are the bad Lord of the Rings. Oh. Yes, I haven't seen any of Lord of the Rings. I've seen one about How I Met Your Mother. Huh? You've seen How I Met Your Mother. I've seen How I Met Your Mother. And you haven't seen Lord of the Rings. There was no easy thing. If you said you haven't seen How I Met Your Mom, it's gonna be a, you haven't seen How I Met Your Mom. No, but it's like for me, this is like not a great show. So it's like you actually chose to watch, spend time on what I would say is Dude. canned laughter show, and then you did not watch Lord of the Rings, which yeah. is like one of the all-time best. Your ex roommate used to watch How I Met Your Mother every day for a year and a half. Yeah. Well, we watched Brooklyn Nine Nine, so that was acceptable. Okay, I got you. You got me into Brooklyn Nine Nine. Brooklyn Nine Nine is great. It's also Brooklyn Nine Nine is amazing, yeah. amazing. See, that is a great show, but still, you. Oh, and please don't watch it on a plane. Please watch it with like good sound because it actually has. Good uh, no, sound. I, I've heard it's like one of those things. Like, it's like it's I, amazing. I feel like I should. It's like a huge. It's like a, it's a rite of passage I missed. You know, like I. Oh. It was. I remember those movies as the most amazing cinematic experience that I ever had. In they seem yeah, me like too, it. Me Dude, too. It's like it seems like I should be able to like. Like here's the other thing. I can't unrelated movies. Like I can't eat eggs. Like not because I'm allergic. I just can't eat them. Any way, any shape, or form. I just can't. One do second. It. Yeah. You can't eat them because you get sick, or you no, don't. No, I just like I try them and like, I just can't. Mentally, you're blocked. I, I'm blocked. Like I can't. Like there's some things. I'm just like I can't listen to the killers. Like I just can't. Don't you rather him not tell you all this shit and just say have a great day? This is what America. <laughs> well, now he yes. <laughs> this is now, exactly no, these broken no, no, people that we just have he, walking but, around America. This is what we're trying to. No, he's asking. It's a cry for help, Jay. It's yeah, a cry yeah. for help. Now <laughs> Johan knows. He's like Mike. We get, don't go back to. The, we gotta sit down and watch. We put it on the projectors. I'm, we're gonna make some popcorn. We're gonna lock the door. We're gonna make sure. That yeah, he's yeah. In already strapped down like it's a clockwork. We'll doze him. Like yeah, a clockwork orange. Just like he's gonna be. Johan, we we can't do that. They're yeah. too long. He'll be on himself. No, no, no. Set it, bro. Set it. We'll make sure that he stays nine hours. Just to give you an scope. I think I watched the first Lord of the Rings more than 30 or 40 times. Yeah, I think I've seen this at least 10 yeah. times, each one. That's, they, that's how many times I've seen the first movie. Because I, when I went to see the first movie in the cinema, I saw the first time I saw the, the shrine and I saw Hobbiton. I'm like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, even when they, even and when they came out. Rivendell and So many Moria. memories of watching it as a kid. Wow. And Lorien. Like, I know I'm telling you places that you don't know what they are, but they're awesome. Oh, you never read the books either? No. Look, I'm not gonna, you, think, you think I'm not going to spend the time to go to a movie and watch it? You think I'm going to open up a book? I can barely read. I just look at pictures, man. I need moving pictures. I read the first lot of Rings, but I couldn't barely understand half of the words that were there because I didn't speak good English. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What, what other things can I piss you guys off with that? You... The what? What are you saying? Oh, I was saying what other things? Is... Big franchises. I mean, Harry Potter. For me, it's Harry Potter and a lot of Rings. I mean, Star Wars. You have to watch no, Star Wars. No, I love Star Wars. I grew up with Star Wars. You have to have seen all the six. I've seen them. Yeah, I just seen. okay. I, I think that the new ones are blah, all of them. Besides one the Rogue One. No, no, no. No, I'm not talking about the shows. I'm just talking about the original no. Star Wars. Like so the original Star Wars are great. Yeah, one through six is. Yeah. And I actually well, that's not so. Four, five, and six are the original ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then, then they have one. I mean, two, two and three, three for and me was seven, a bit questionable. Nine. For me, one was still also yeah, amazing. I would agree with that one was that one was the Anakin and the and the the racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. First, yeah. I remember going to the movies that one. I actually like three. I'm probably the only person that likes yeah, three. Three is not good. Because you have the moment <laughs> of like, you were my brother. You were supposed to bring light to this darkness. You were the chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them. Bring balance to the force. Not leave it in darkness. You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. You know why three was like it because it had to tie in so much, right? Because like I like you, don't, you don't have more room there. Like you can't. I just, like three. <clears throat> There's no like three point five. You know what I mean? I like I I even like Anakin and I like Obi Juan. Obi Juan Kenobi was my nickname playing video games. Uh, one, two, four, five, six. Very good. Mm. Now two was by the time the we got to seven, eight, nine, I, they lost me. I couldn't get. I oh, couldn't yeah. get in the movie. I mean, I, I'm not. Only thing I've watched was um, 
the Baby Yoda one, the Mandalorian. That was fun. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it was I thought fun. it was really good. Mm. As in, not the best show in the world, but definitely a good, good. one. But I do like the spin one, the spin off. Have you seen Rogue One? Rogue One was good, yeah. I love no, Rogue One. Was a good Rogue One is super fun. <clears throat> Wait, well, I have a controversial one. What was it called? The, um, the one that only had one season and was based off the anime uh, on Netflix not too long ago. Uh, space off the space, anime? Uh, yeah, and it was like Space... Uh, Cowboy Bebop? Yeah, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, that's a, that is like, I mean... I didn't watch the live one, but I mean, the anime is a classic. Like that. The is, live one didn't work for me. I've yeah. seen like a couple episodes of the anime. I need to get back to it, but I watched yeah. the live one. I kind of like the vibe. No, it's a great. Ooh, I like the anime. The, the I, real one didn't work for me at all. It didn't? Yeah. No, at all. Really? Zero. I watched two episodes and I was like, fuck this shit. Wow, okay. Yeah. I kind of, I watched all of it. I binged it. It was good. Oh, for I'm going to say something it's, horrible it's hard, too. It's hard to pull. Again. I'm going to say something horrible. Know. Can't fucking watch Dragon Blood. Which Dragon Blood? The Dota the one. The Dota one. Oh, no, I stopped season I two. I can't, I can't. So yeah. season one was very watchable for me. I loved some of the scenes. Like, some of it was corny and some of the animations I didn't like as much. Like, it really felt like there was three different art directors working on the show because I felt like it was very uneven yeah, with uh, the some were good. of the scenes. Yeah, the Invoker scenes were so amazing. That was so good. For me, that made the show. If they weren't, wouldn't have been there or some of the Dragonite ones or the Dragon ones, I would have left a, a season one. Season two, for the first time, I'd ever felt like stressed out watching something. I was so stressed out watching season two. It moved like every major epic thing. Something would happen right away after. Like super fast paced, no mm -hmm. time to settle in. Like yeah. every, oh, it was not a good, I, so I haven't finished it. And I'm going to say something very controversial again. Arcane is fucking awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. I love Arcane. No, fucking why, awesome. Why is that controversial? Because it's like yeah, Dota versus League. Oh no, Arcane was Arcane incredible. Is fucking awesome. I mean, whoever no, put that together, yeah. it's very awesome. well done. Very it's well awesome. Done. And it hurts me that our Dota is so bad and Arcane is so I good. wonder what happened because uh, for me, I could have done with another season one. I don't think it was like the ultimate mm. project or anything, but it was very well made in my opinion. I really wonder what happened season two. Something happened like in terms of like uh, director changing or like somebody being told like we need to cut this and this and make this and this. Season one like, didn't work for me either. Really? Yeah. I thought it was, I thought, I thought that season one, all season should only be episode one when he becomes a dragon. I think that there was enough story to see Debian, I agree. to see the team, I agree. It was to see Mirana, it was also too fast, to see uh, was watching, yeah. Luna, and then you slowly build all season one, he becomes a dragon, the show starts. But they build the dragon on the first episode. There's, and then way, there's too war, much lore. There there's like, too much lore. Slow down. down. Silly. Slow. Yes. I agree. Yeah, I, 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 I watched it. And I had no idea of anything in Dota. So I'm just like, it, it was like a lot in my face. Like right away. I'm like. Or they could have done what a lot of anime do is like make like a full story that is mm -hmm. in writing. Like yeah. in a manga or whatever. And then, then you, the you can yeah. then do an adaptation and try to make it still mm -hmm. make sense. Yeah. Um, I was okay with just seeing Devian uh, struggling trying to hate dragons before he becomes a dragon. That's a great arc. That's a whole season yeah. arc. You could build a lot of characters. But, but he wanted, but he actually wanted Debian to be like, no, I'm fine. It's okay. You know, just be super fake. And yeah, maybe, so, <laughs> maybe because, oh, maybe because I watch a lot of animes, but it's like, even, animes? <laughs> oh, what the hell? What? Animes? Yeah. Animes? Anime? Anime. Anime. Animes. Animes, uh, I it's was like saying, Alan. Have you heard Alan when he says Valorant? No. Valorant. Valorant. <laughs> Valorant. So I, even the, the story was just too fast for me. And even the love story between them, I'm like, wait a second. I am used to 16 seasons before they get together. What happened in these three seconds that I missed? Yeah. Very fast. Invoker was great. It I was like the only part that I liked. Every single invoker, invoker yeah, was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too, the me conflict too. and all that. And me too, me too. And also, I don't know why, every single time he spoke, I always thought about Topias. <laughs> For me, it was in Topias' <laughs> voice. Really? It was this call. That invoker was from Finland. Let me put it this way. Oh, wow. That invoker is from Odlum. <laughs> Where is he from? Okay, Maybe I have no feelings kid. about you, my daughter. Maybe you're a very... No, but he's the one who loves his daughter. I know, but he doesn't show because he's American. He's American from Finland. American Finland. No, he was great. Invoker was great. He was really great. But still, the best thing I ever watched all time is still Berserk. I'm so sorry. Berserk, the show? Like... You like it? I read the comics growing up, but I never really got into the show. You, you so I, I watched the show first, but I think the comic is of. I mean, the story is amazing. I yeah. think the comic does. The manga's fine. Yeah, it's really like, fun. Uh, like everything is much better about the. 
Are you watching the manga? The, are you watching the new, the one that just came out, or are you watching the, the older? Um, well, I watch all of it. Oh, I've seen all of it. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, the newest one is, of course, like not the best, but I, yeah. I ate it all up. Like I'm looking for yeah. everything. Ah, I'm eating it. I'll be, all I'll be up. going back because I, I, I watched a bunch of anime. And I watched the the original, and then I went to read it. Um, and I mean, it's definitely. You seen the movies? The three movies they did? No, I didn't watch the movies. Yeah. It's also it's good. Honestly, it's also good. If I would have seen it as a kid, I'm sure I would have loved it. But yeah. yeah. So look, let's do something. Uh, we should come back and talk about movies. And maybe we should give you a list I mean, of we movies. We should educate Mike first. Oh, oh right. yeah. Right. We should Lord give you... No, no, because this could be great. I would like to hear your thoughts after you experience Lord of the Rings for the My first time. My wife is going to love you because she loves Lord of the Rings. Uh, how, how do you have a wife that has watched Lord of the Rings and accepts that you haven't? I think so. Why the We're, fuck would she marry you? I, yeah. I don't like Zelda either, and she loves Zelda. Like Zelda? So, I mean, like the game, yeah. A little bit controversial. I... I don't harp on you, but man, I love Zelda too. So, like, I, I played the Ocarina of Time in. in Walter, N64. congratulations! You're the new head of esports. <laughs> <laughs> you're the new head of esports now. Congratulations! He you're, just framed you. You, 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 you played Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, um, yeah, of 64. Yeah, 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 amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. amazing, amazing. Some of the yeah, yeah. happiest moments of my life. Yeah, me too. Uh, Lots of good. I memories. just played StarCraft, dude. I just loaded up, and that was all I did. No, I play. I never have. Yeah. Anyway, superior game. Anyway. So look, we'll do this. We will make. I, I wish I could experience Lord of the Rings for the first time, but I'm sad that you will not experience it in a cinema. I mean, I can try. There is a lot of like, but it's just it's, they don't they don't fully hold up. Huh? Like some of the VFX and all that that at the time were incredible. They look a little bit tacky right now. So, so you, you have to see it on that moment because the moment that I yeah. walk on the cinema and I saw Lord of the Rings, they created this whole uh, software. That allows units to move at the same time because mm. before when you will have units moving, moving on the screen, screen with cgi yeah. you had six units mm. and the computers could not hold but, but they, they created a, this thing that it was i think it was called matrix actually funny enough mm. that you could have thousands and thousands of units so on the i know the name is in spanish but like on moria with all the goblins that you see thousands of goblins yeah. it was the first time that you could see that I'll, uh, and it was amazing i'll get in my delorean I'll Pop back in time. I'll, I'll watch it for you. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go Mandalorian like the Star Wars show, and I was like, "Where the fuck are you going?" Like, oh, Mandalorian, my Delorean, yeah. Your Delorean. My Delorean, my my car my that car. happens to be a Delorean. Uh, that happens to be a Delorean, not yes. Mandalorian. Delorean. Oh, I heard Mandalorian too. Uh, <laughs> I mumble. Americans. Time. It's okay. We've just established the uh, OG movie night. Yes. You're welcome. OG movie night. We should do like okay. Fuck it. We're gonna do a monkey business movie edition where we're going to put a list of movies so the audience can see it before so we can talk about the show and you choose one movie, you choose one movie, I choose one movie and we'll watch it, the audience watch it and then we talk about it. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Let's try to find something new then, something we haven't seen, okay. I guess, or I haven't seen. You're going to see the Spice Girls, the movie. What did he say? I haven't a clue. The Spice Girls. All right, we're coming. Oh, no. the Spice Girls. Ah. That's going to be my, my choice. Stop. I'm not doing it. If you want to be well, my lover. I'm going to choose a human centipede for you, for oh. you guys to watch. <laughs> okay, the first one and the second one. Oh, the yeah. third one. Oh. <laughs> you watched that movie and not Lord of the Rings? Yeah. <laughs> I, need to be, I need to be cultured. Come on. I actually haven't seen the third one. Yeah, I've heard it's stupid. It's like, well, a, thousand, that's why it's like a thousand people. Yeah, like, that's why I want to watch it. Because the it, second it, one was so, like so stupid. Because the me. first one's like, it's ridiculous, but it's like cult ridiculous. Yeah. Like, yeah the second yeah. one's like, why are we doing this again? The third one's and like. But pretty funny. Like, like I'm at, I don't know. No, I thought the second this, one was this, pretty this funny. One, I'll blow your mind. This is what you think about. Somebody got paid to make that movie. Like, yeah. There was a job. Like there were jobs yeah. that were created like. Yes. To, to do that as a production. Right? Like. Yeah. That guy woke up every day and was like, we're making this movie. We're like, making I'm, this going, movie. I'm going to work on a mission. And it's like... I've made shitty movies. I know what it you feels. Know, you get on your knees. Right you, no, think about it this way. Somebody got paid, but didn't have to get paid in tips, right? You like, get in your hands some, and some, knees, Someone got on. paid to make that movie, but we can't afford to pay yeah, servers in yeah. America. When you think about it like that, that it's kind yeah, of crazy. that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. And you know something? It's that, entertainment, person, baby, yeah. that, per that person probably worked very hard to get that job too. Human sent to be three. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining on this episode or whatever the fuck this was. Uh, this has been great. Uh, we're very happy to have you. Uh, we also found out that less than 30% of people that watch this show are actually subscribed to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. I need, Daddy needs to get 100,000 followers 
because we need a plug right there for the show. Okay. And yeah, yeah, that's it. Please, please subscribe and the follow. More you if you subscribe, we can buy you Kinder. I mean, come on. If we, if you subscribe, we can buy, buy you Kinder. There you go. Not for the CSGO. We're going to make him play Dota. <laughs> okay? I'm going to put him in the offlane with Amar and let's see if he survives, you know? That would be the test, you know, the test I'm in. Swap the two teams, actually. Yeah. Swap the two teams. Yeah, yeah. It will be a flawless Dota, swap. Nobody CSGO, will know. CSGO, play Dota. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here. And peace. See you next week. Jay can't play ping pong. Jay cannot play ping pong.